Okay, everybody, today I'm going to show you an interesting technique, um, a pretty basic technique. This isn't how real chemists do it, but this is how I do it with my limited uh, equipment here at my house. But uh, basically, I'm going to show you a titration of distilled white vinegar. And what a titration is, is you use a pH indicator to signal to you when and when a base neutralizes an acid okay and the uh, two acid and, and the acid and base that I'm going to use today um, are just simple household products that you can find uh, in your home right now being distilled white vinegar which I filled up with a cup here and, and that's just a clear distilled vinegar there and I'm also using lemon ammonia and that's like more of a yellow color you can't really see the yellow on the camera but um it's it's a yellow tint to it so basically oh I'm sorry and the one last thing that you need would be and you can find this at any pool supply store would be a bottle of phenol red it's about five dollars at any pool supply store and what phenol what phenol red is is basically it's a pH indicator which tells you um, which changes colors at a certain pH okay so when when, an, when the acid, which is the distilled white vinegar or acetic acid, uh, is neutralized by the base, which is the ammonia, uh, which has the chemical formula of NH4OH, um, anything with an OH group on the end of it is, is usually a base. Uh, when, when the base neutralizes the acid, the pH is going to switch from uh, the color yellow. And as you can see, this is a, a red liquid okay but in a base it's gonna be um, yellow and I'm gonna show you that in a second okay so it's gonna switch from a yellow liquid to a red to the red color again and that's when you know exactly uh, when exactly how much volume of ammonia you have to use to completely neutralize the acetic acid in the vinegar okay so basically I'm gonna yeah, first let me open this and by the way don't use this uh, phenol red in any of your like if you ever want to do an experiment like this on your own don't ever mix this with any of your kitchen glassware or anything like that uh, you know I use uh, I got I have I buy beakers and all that kind of stuff so don't use this on your regular glassware because it's toxic um, of course you know ammonia is never <laughs> you know it's never pleasant to smell and neither is vinegar but at least those are safe for your kitchen glassware but this isn't okay so I'm gonna show you on our first step here what happens okay here's our this is our distilled vinegar all right and like I showed you before this is a red liquid but watch what happens when we pour it into the vinegar you see that yellow tint because what happens is phenol red is yellow in acid we just pour enough in there for it to mix and, and give it like a nice yellow tint there just mix that up a bit and as you can see it's it's disappearing I have a little stir rod to start with here okay and now it's dissolved in there but it leaves a yellow tint because of the way the phenol red reacts with the acid All right. And you know what, I'll just go ahead and pour that in my beaker here. It's hard to see, but you have a nice yellow tint to that right there. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to pour in our ammonia. And now you can see the yellow color of the ammonia here. But watch what happens when we pour in the ammonia. It might take a while, but you'll eventually see a neutralization occur. And you can see the red start firming there. Okay. You can see it changing color a little bit. But it's still a yellow color. That means more ammonia is needed. I'm going to pour that in right now. You have to excuse me, it's starting to rain. I'm outside right now. 
And here we are with more ammonia here. And you can see the color starting to change. You can literally see the color change from yellow to red. Alright, now you can see the red color there. And that's how you know the neutralization is occurring. And it's staying red. It's not going back to yellow. So that's how you know the neutralization has completely occurred. And just for, just for our purposes here, I'll continue to pour this ammonia in just so that you can see a more vivid color change. You can see that right there. It's getting a lot more red now. And now we can even reverse this process by putting in more vinegar. You see here. Okay, now pay attention to the color here. Now it's getting yellow. Did you see that? That's what a pH indicator does. Now if you measure the amount of volume of ammonia that you titrated this with, you're able to, if you know the concentration of the ammonia, you're able to determine the concentration of the vinegar using uh, uh, math. And I'll show you that in a later video when I titrate hydrochloric acid using uh, sodium hydroxide, but I'll explain all that later. Hopefully you enjoyed my video. I'll have more to come.